Hello folks, Mundane Man here again, and today we're going to take on one of the uh, mundanest of mundane tasks on a vehicle, and that's changing these uh, wiper blades out. They've been on here for a couple of years, and they're starting to drag across the windshield, so it's time to replace them. And the other thing we're going to do is, to help those wiper blades smoothly glide across the glass, as I'm going to rain next to the windshield, and I'll show you my process for doing that as well. So, let's get at it. Let's start with the driver's side here. These wiper blades are the Bosch brand, and this is a hook style wiper arm. So we're working on a Jeep Patriot, but you know, any vehicle these days, I shouldn't say any, but a lot of vehicles these days have the hook style uh, wiper arms. So on these Bosch blades, there is a cap here that you squeeze on the sides, lift it open, and pull the blade towards you. And it comes off of that hook and you can see why it's called a hook style because that is shaped like a hook. So that's that one. So I'm going to replace my wiper blades with this Michelin style. You can get these pretty much anywhere. These I uh, got at Costco, but I'll put a link down below because you can get them at Amazon as well and have them delivered to your door. Um, they're kind of a mid-grade wiper blade and they're pretty good for winter too because the tops are sealed so that uh, you don't get a lot of ice and crack in them. That being said, no wiper blade is perfect in the winter. I think the hardest part of this task will be getting it out of the packaging. Okay, so here's our new wiper blade. The hook just slides in this area here and then this cap will uh, fold over top of it on this type of uh, wiper blade anyways. Seems like all of the wiper blades have a little bit of a different uh, style to them. Some have a little tab underneath here that you need to press up and down to get the, uh, the hook to slide off of the wiper blade. They seem to be making them easier for idiots like me to get this done. So we're just gonna put the hook in here and push it uh, away from me and that should uh, get it to clip right into place there. Just like that. And then you fold down this cover and that basically secures the wiper blade on here. Now, my Jeep Patriot takes 21 inch wiper blades. Just measure the ones you have or go to the uh, catalog at your local parts store and um, they should have a guide to tell you what is the right, right uh, wiper blade for your particular vehicle. Uh, or if you're ordering on Amazon, sometimes they have a guide for that or you can uh, Google it or measure the ones that are on there already. And there's also this yellow protection on the uh, rubber part of the blade that you slide off. And that is the driver's side. Now we'll do the passenger side at the same time. I usually change my wiper blades, you know, both at the same time. You, you may only have one that's dragging, but after two years the rubber just dries out, so you may as well replace them both. Okay, so on the passenger side, same, just lift this cap off and we'll push the uh, arm towards the vehicle, away from me in other words, and there's the old wiper blade off. Take the new wiper blade, make sure you're putting it on the right way, the hook slides into that area there. Push, pull it towards you and it should just nicely click into place and press the uh, the fastener down and that's the passenger side. Take your guide off and away you go. That's uh, easy peasy. Now in the packaging uh, with the wiper blades on this particular Michelin brand you get different types of uh, attachments. So if you have a different style of wiper blade than the hook style arm which are on most modern vehicles they do give you the ability to uh, retrofit to maybe a classic car or just uh, vehicles that have a different type of, of uh, wiper arm assembly here. Okay, the next step uh, we're going to go through today is applying Rain-X to the windshield. And the purpose of this is it, it repels water very well. Um, bugs that get uh, slammed on the windshield will come off quite a bit easier and also uh, in the fall and winter uh, if you get frost and ice uh, that stuff will uh, peel off from the windshield quite a bit easier than just the straight glass alone. So the first step in this is I'm going to uh, clean the windshield with some uh, alcohol just to get any uh, residue off of the windshield. Sometimes windshield washer fluids will leave uh, 
uh, some grime on the windshield and uh, just in general, I mean the windshield looks clean now, but just in general get, get a good surface to apply the uh, Rain-X to. Oh, hey, I get some good old no-name uh, rubbing alcohol. I'm going to lift the wipers off the windshield. Now you can pour the rubbing alcohol right on the windshield, but I'm just going to put it into my cloth here. I like to use microfiber cloths for this. They're hard to use microfiber cloths for everything because they just seem to work so much better than a terry towel or any other kind of rag. <clears throat> a lot of people forget about this step when it comes to uh, applying Rain-X. It'll help uh, it, it adhere to the glass better on the surface doesn't have any contaminants on it. Okay, we'll just let that dry for a bit. So the Rain-X says to spray it on a rag, dry rag. Let's make sure it's open here first. And then we are gonna just rub it in, just like you were waxing a car. Put it on in circles. You're going to keep applying it and let it dry until you get a nice white haze on the windshield. I like to apply it about two or three times. I'm not sure you can tell on the camera, but there is a haze developing on it. And now, like watching paint dry, we wait for the uh, rain X to dry to a bit of a haze. Doesn't take very long, really, depending on the temperatures that you're working in. Okay, I'm just gonna buff it off now with a clean rag. Okay, we buffed it off until it's all nice and clear and dry. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You run your fingers across the windshield, you can feel a fairly nice, smooth, glassy-like surface. And using the rubbing alcohol helps to uh, get the residues off so you can um, put in a nice layer of the uh, Rain-X. That was so much fun, I'm going to do the side windows too. Why not? We just got the water bead right off of that too. So we'll start with the alcohol and clean the windows again with the uh, microfiber cloth and then we'll apply the rain next. Rain next on our clean rag. Well, semi clean anyway. to a nice haze, so let's buff it off. I'm not gonna lie, it does take some elbow grease to get this done. I'm gonna go to the other side in the back, but I don't think you need to watch me do that. Whew, I'm not gonna lie to you, I made a chubby guy like me break out in a bit of a sweat by doing all the windows in here. You really gotta buff them out to get that uh, Rain-X off once uh, it dries to that haze. I had to go over it probably two or three times with a uh, microfiber cloth, but I think I got it as good as I'm going to get it. Maybe some residue seems to be left in the corners. 
But now is the big test. Let's throw some water on the windshield and see what happens. Now I'm just going to use a squirt bottle to see how much it beads off to begin with. Let's give it a shot. Well, that really doesn't show much, does it? Let's go for a long stream. I mean, you can see the water rolling off. That's not bad. Let's uh, amp it up a bit and throw water on it. Yeah, when you get a lots of volume, you can see how it just beads up and, and clears right off. So I would say that is a resounding success. Next step, let's test our new wiper blades and make sure they don't drag anymore. And they should glide smoothly across this Raynex too. Let's see how well the side windows did here. You can see the water rolling off. Now if I splash large volumes of water on it, it just kind of clears itself off. So if you're rolling down the road at, you know, 80 kilometers an hour or, uh, you know, 50 miles an hour, that water just beads right off and would roll right off the windows. So I think I'm happy with that. Okay, that's it for this video where we change the wiper blades. Um, this happened to be a Jeep Patriot, but the wiper blade process is pretty much the same. And we've um, applied rain all over all of the windows to uh, help the water bead off quickly. Helps the wiper blades last longer because they'll just glide across the surface of the windshield because there's no drag. And it'll help with visibility if you get caught in a rainstorm or sleep and slush and that type of thing. It should just quickly roll off the car. Um, I believe, depending on your conditions, this stuff should last three to six months where you probably have to do it again. So it's not a permanent thing, obviously. I think the next best thing, or probably the best thing to do to have the water beat off like that and have it last a long time would be to do ceramic coating. I know on my uh, truck, uh, the Ram 1500, I had it ceramic coated about four years ago and the water still beads off the windshield and the wiper blades glide across it quite nicely so that is uh, probably the best approach but for affordability this rain -X, uh, goes on fairly easy like I said I had to work up a sweat but also um, you know it's not that hard to apply either it's just a little bit of elbow grease so that's it for this edition of Mundane Band we'll catch you on the next one bye bye